It is one of those games in which it's all about ability. One of those games in which every mistake can be the decisive one. Jenga. Like at the racetrack, it is one man against the other. Like at the racetrack, there is no such thing as just for fun. Generally, I hate losing. Winning is just nicer. Losing is never nice, so let's see what comes out. Marco Wittmann against Nico Muller in the battle for number one, for the number one title hunters. We are both hunters. We have some catching up to do. Attacking is the motto. So it is maximum attack, in Jenga and in the DTM as well. The right tactics are decisive for both, and that is what Nico Muller has this season in particular. To be honest, very little. There aren't many things we are doing differently than in the past years. I think this year we have found a basic setup for the car that suits me. The result, Muller is the only one to have scored points in every race and managed to win twice. However, with points leader Rast and third placed Wittmann, his main rivals have won more often. But that in itself isn't enough, as history shows. In 2016, I won the title with three race wins. Now, I already have more victories. But at the end of the day, we are also having too many lows this season. We were able to shine with the highs, but eventually, we are only in P3. Therefore, his mission is clear. From P3 to title number three. And all that thanks to his experience. Pressure is on. Don't tremble so much, Mr. Wittmann. It certainly helps when you can handle the pressure a little bit, whereas I always was the hunted, never the hunter during my two championship years. Just like the season, the Jenga duel is also coming to an end. It is one block after another. But now, who has them? The better nerves. Who has the better sensitivity? First here, and then at the track. They are all able to drive fast. The one that gets the best out of his package quickly is the one who eventually comes out on top. They were rivals while playing Jenga. I would say luck in the game, bad luck at the track. But out on track, they have one common philosophy. The number one hunter is the first loser. A title that neither for Muller nor for Whitman is good enough at the end of the season.